Hello, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 27th of March. This week sees a new moon. This gives you an opportunity to rejuvenate the basic structure of your life. Even if you're someone who tends to have everything pretty nailed down, you can find some new angles, especially if you take a step back and see how you can reinvigorate some tried and trusted approaches that perhaps are just getting a little bit stale. One of the areas that you can take interest in is diet, and new approaches to nutrition can certainly give you greater energy and verve. Another area is around work. If this is something that has seen your attention waver a little around over the last few years, it really wouldn't be a surprise due to the role of the restless energies of Uranus. And this week, Mercury, the planet of communication, continues through till Friday, working its way through this sector too. So your attention to detail can be very, very good. However, Venus, the planet of love and attraction, is continuing to retrace her steps here. So when it comes to your interactions with colleagues, it is going to be important to be just aware of what they expect of you, fulfilling your obligations, doing your bit, yet at the same time watching out for anyone who might be ready to seize on anything you don't quite grapple with quite as efficiently as you might do. But Mars, the planet of drive, is in your sector of relating. And Mercury is going to join up with Mars on Saturday. Now that's wonderful for you because it's going to shift the emphasis from this more practical, earthy vibe into one which is much more about how you interact with others. If you're looking for a relationship, this can put you on the front foot, give you a sense of excitement. And it can be in even the most ordinary of locations that you get chatting to somebody new this week, and there could be a meeting of minds. In fact, the last two days of this week see your two ruling planets, or co-regents, Mars and Pluto, forge a fabulous angle. And it's possible that you can have a very insightful conversation with someone which is going to empower you in the way you go forwards, or perhaps you're just going to really spark off each other and form a formidable partnership, be it around a hobby, uh, something that you both have skills that you can contribute to, or it could be, if you're really lucky, it could be in a romantic context as well. However, there is still a very psychological right angle between Jupiter and Pluto. And there may be times when you find an impulse to speak out or say something, send a message in text or email, which perhaps is much more subconsciously driven than you're aware of. Try to just cool things down. Don't let yourself become too evangelical about the things that you're passionate about, yet at the same time be enthusiastic about them. It is about finding a balance. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.